thing that I so the first thing that I did today was I made this really cool GUI. Uh, you've got you've got your boy um his head, the the uh, uh his arm. They're all in this place. But let me explain what's gonna happen. What happens is whenever you click them, it goes back to it. Then it turns into a full skeleton. It's gonna be really cool. So guys, the next thing I did was make this really cool thing. Um, press this every time you press one, another one appears. To when you get to the head, um, <laughs> when you get to the head, you um uh, win almost kinda, I guess. Well, kinda. <laughs> let, let me explain a bit further. So I'm still going to have it. I don't know how long it will take. I'll have to time it. But I'll just do wait 0 0.5 for now. See if that works. Um, if it's a bit delayed or a bit too ahead, I can change it, you know. So, I mean, I think I've got this undercover. No one needs to help me. Um, but I also have to make it so whenever you click on the skeleton head, it will open it up. But, you know, that's actually a really simple fix because I've already got it for the teddy bear. So, yay. The snap of a finger. We have now gotten both of those two tasks that I have completed, done, and out of the way. The only bad thing is and when you're in first person, you can't get out. So, um, uh, no, actually, I, 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 I can't get out. I, I actually don't. Okay. Wait. No, 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 no. Okay, I'll have to think about this and think about what I've done. Okay, I figured out how. Um, it's got it working. Good. Epic. Boom. Boom. Amazing. Beautiful. Amazing. Um, you just gotta click it not in first person because, you know, it is a bit of a struggle to get out. Um, but you know... That's how that's how we roll here in the Mr. Bristlick channel. Um, the more you know. I think I've actually made some really good progress today. Um, it might have been because I skipped school. Um, who knows? <laughs> but actually, though, I actually did skip school today. No joke. <laughs> I I I I actually did. Um, I'm such a nerd. I skipped to school to code. How much of a nerd do you have to be to do that? I'm just saying. Okay, I've made my decision on what the um, third and final task will be. It will be this little bat boy. So we w there will be like around, uh, maybe like 10 of them that will be flying around. You need to get, you need to tap them all when they're flying around the screen. Mm. And they're going to be moving pretty fast. And since it's a bat, it <laughs> I, I don't know. That That's all there really is to it. Um, I'm going to start working on that. As you can see, I just highlighted this. I have this bat here. And it, and it basically makes it levitate. So, um, yeah. I'll just test it out real quick for you. Because it looks pretty sick. I like it. I like it. Um, and then I just gotta make the GUI, which isn't that difficult, but yeah, as you can see right here, it's levitating, wait, um, if you look closely, you can see it's kind of levitating, you know, um, when you step on it, <laughs> it levitates you with it, so that's epic, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Take a little break and then get back to this. Okay, so here is what I finished for today. I made these floating bats that um, I'm going to code um, tomorrow. When you click them, they all dis they disappear. So I know this isn't perfect, but you know, it does the job. It's working. As you can see, it's not crashing the game or anything. <coughs> but yeah. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, there's only two more after this, so we'll see how that goes. Um, wish me luck. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you enjoy my content, 
um, consider subscribing. And yeah, just so you know, if you do subscribe, you can always unsubscribe later. So, you know, plus it's free. Why not? Okay, peace.